Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we have a huge update when it comes to Lil Tay. Now, we talked about this and it was a big topic a while ago, not actually that long, that it was alleged that Lil Tay had passed away and it was posted on Lil Tay's own Instagram, this basically goodbye message that her and her brother had passed. And Lil Tay has now gone on the record saying that it was actually her father that did this. And it's it's this full messy thing. I've also found this article from Lil Tay's dad saying that he's trying to, like, get her back and stuff. And it's like Lil Tay's father seems terrifying. So we're going to jump in and figure out what is happening. Before we get into that, for 400,000 subscribers, we're currently doing a Muckers fundraiser for Nexus NI, which is an organization in Northern Ireland, where I'm from, that support individuals that are impacted by SA and they and kind of abusive relationships, and they work very closely with victims, and they don't get enough funding and awareness. Um, so if you want to click the link down below, it's going to be the only thing pinned. If you want to go over and donate, we're almost 50% at our goal, which is crazy. Um, but let's get into the topic. Okay, so I have these two articles. This is the one we're going to end on. This is the recent one. Lil Tay claims that her and misogynistic stepfather was responsible for the hoax. So this just came out, but I find this article, please ignore the amount of ads on this page, you know, Christ. Um, here's what this, do you need to hide the chat for? No, the chat is staying for the YouTube video. Hi, how y'all doing? So we're going to get to this one and then we're going to get to the new one. Lil T so to kind of get an understanding of Lil Tay's father, Lil Tay's father speaks out against allegations I am fighting for my daughter and her happiness, exclusive. Following the conflicting news of her passing, we're looking back at our exclusive interview with Lil Tay's father and allegations of, you know, in their relationship. I'm going to say A instead of it. It's on the screen anyway, but just YouTube don't like when you say that. These grandchildren look exactly like their celebrities. Estate agents are surprised so few people know about this. Game shows what the world would look like without U.S. military. Free PDF download. We'll help make it click. We get it. We get it. We get it. All right. On Wednesday, August 9th. Oh my God. Was it that long? That's not long ago, actually. A post on Lil Tay's Instagram page announced the passing of the viral teen star. Lil Tay's family revealed that the 14 year old, whose real name is Claire Hope, had passed away. And it is with a heavy heart that we share the devastating news of our beloved Claire's sudden and tragic passing. The statement, which, which is so fucking deranged, that was all made up. The statement, which was posted on Lil Tay's Instagram, said, We have no words to express the unbearable loss and indescribable pain. The outcome was entirely unexpected and left us all in shock. However, hours after the announcement was made, Insider made contact with Christopher John Hope, who is Lil Tay's father, who reportedly declined to comment on the Instagram post and wouldn't confirm whether or not she actually was still alive to Insider. So him and the manager, remember, refused to say whether or not their daughter was alive, remember? Very fucking weird. Her former manager, Harry, similar or similarly told the outlet that he could not confirm or deny the news. Law enforcement for both Los Angeles and Vancouver also said that there was no investigating into the passing. Then, the very next day, the teen rapper, Alive and Well, released a statement sharing that the Instagram post was fake via TMZ. The teen star admitted that the hoax came from a third party that had gained control of her Instagram. So, this is what we knew until now. It was that Lil Tay said that a a uh, third party got access to the account and gained control and, and, you know, hacked it. But apparently it was the father. But we're going to get to that in a second. I want to make it clear that my brother and I are safe and alive because they said the brother also passed as well. And they gave him like three words in a sentence. I'd be fuming. They were like, and the brother also passed. I was like, if that was me, I'd be fuming. Um, but I'm completely heartbroken and struggling to even find the right words, she said. Given the conflicting news, many fans are searching for answers and looking back at the reported nature of the relationship between Lil Tay and her father, especially given that back in 2018, there were allegations made by an unknown source of abuse. Below is Hollywood Life's interview with Christopher Hope from October 25th, 2018. So this was him defending himself. 
Christopher John Hope, the father of 11-year-old rapper Lil Tay, has spoken out in an exclusive interview with Hollywood Life after a hacker accused him of abusing his daughter and destroying his life or destroying her life for financial gain. My daughter is hurting and she is angry. I regret that I was unable to stop all the negative things from happening to her. Chris, a lawyer in Vancouver, told HL in an email. I am heartbroken about what has happened, not only to her, but also to my other family members. Due to past events and now, due to the lies and harassment that were posted on Instagram, I don't know if the Instagram was hacked or not. All I know is that the person or people controlling the Instagram did things that are crimes in Canada and in California, and we will see what happens. Lil Tay, Claire Hope, was court-ordered to live with her father in June to live with her father in June 2018 after months of flexing videos and wild behavior. When my daughter's social media began to go viral this year, I disagreed with most of the social media activity. I took legal steps to stop things which I felt were dangerous to her physical and mental health and to her future, Chris explained. I do not think a 10-year-old girl should be put in those situations and made to drop out of school so that she can make money for other people. When Tay's flexing videos of her holding wads of cash and sitting in expensive cars went viral, her mother, Angela Tian, was reportedly fired from her real estate firm after it was revealed that she was involved in the making of these videos. This person, Lil Tay, just seems failed by her entire family for social media clout. Um, I'm not fighting about money. I'm not fighting for my daughter. Or wait, I'm not fighting about money. I am fighting for my daughter, for her happiness and future, Chris revealed. My daughter wants to pursue acting and singing, and I support her 100% in the... Stay tuned, because what we're going to read conflicts this, but just stay tuned. This is his point of view. My daughter wants to pursue acting and singing, and I support her 100% in following those dreams. I think she was given bad advice about many things earlier this year, and she was steered in the wrong directions by various people. He continued... We've heard exclusively that Lil Tay will return to the spotlight soon, oh thank god, with a rebrand image that is approved by her father, who removed her from the downward spiral she was headed towards earlier this year as she was deemed an instabrat and, you know, a toddler. She has been in the studio working on new music, oh thank god, and there will be new tracks revealed by the end of the year, thank god. I hope my daughter is able to follow a path that will make her happy, keep her safe, and allow her to grow up in an amazing, or to be the amazing person that she is, Chris concluded. Uh, Hollywood Life attempted to reach out to the mother and her representatives, but they couldn't be reached. Okay, so now let's get to the new one. Lil Tay claims that her abusive and misogynistic stepfather was the one responsible for the death hoax. So, contrary to what we just read... We're not hearing that it was the father that did all this. Lil Tay has once again broken her silence and revealed that it was actually her stepfather, that the one that we just heard, that was behind the fake death. On Tuesday, the 16-year-old took to her Instagram stories with a message to her fans that her stepfather, Christopher J. Hope, who we just read the interview of, was responsible for the news of her and her brother's sudden death. Lil Tay included a portrait of her stepdad in her post and claimed that he was abusive and racist. My abusive, racist, misogynistic, woman-beating father faked my death, Lil Tay wrote. This was on her story. What is going on? But don't worry, there's another ad in this page if you want to just sit uh, sit back and watch a fucking ad. So, again, this was the post in its entirety. So, apparently, it was the dad that wrote it, even though the dad is saying that Lil Tay needed to be removed and put under his care because the rest of the family were bad. Stepfather or father? I don't know. It goes back and forth. But they're talking about Christopher Hope either way. So this was the overall post that he is being accused of writing. I don't know what I believe in any of this, by the way. All of this is alleged. It is with a heavy heart that we share the devastating news of our, be- this is so deranged, of our beloved Claire's sudden and tragic passing. 
We have no words to express the unbearable loss and indescribable pain. This outcome was entirely unexpected and has left us all in shock. Her brother's passing adds an even more unimaginable depth to our grief. Just thrown in there. During this time of immense sorrow, we kindly ask for privacy as we grieve this overwhelming loss as the circumstances surrounding Claire and her brother's passing are under investigation. They weren't. They literally weren't. Claire will forever be in our hearts, her presence leaving an irreplaceable void that will be felt by all who knew and loved her. So Lil Tay originally... No way this is still on Instagram. Oh, it's been deleted. Okay. Um, so Lil Tay originally said that a third party had hacked her account and posted this, but again... The father allegedly could have done that as well. And for me, it always, I'm not accusing the father of posting this. All of this is alleged and none of this makes sense. But all I'm going to say is when the narrative was that a third party random hacker broke into Lil Tay's inactive account to post a death message, it didn't make sense. It's not really, oh, it's still there. It's not really what a hacker would post. I'm going to be honest. Like, you know what I mean? Like, hackers don't really do this. So, I don't know what I believe, but this has just gotten even weirder now. Yeah, I don't even know why the post hasn't been deleted. False information. But why wasn't it deleted? I don't understand why this post is still up. So her dad was the one that did it? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. What the fuck? All years later, TMZ announced that the account was taken over by a third party, used to spread jarring misinformation and rumors. I want to make it clear that my brother and I are safe. As of press time, the post announcing her death is still on her page, but now has a warning fact check message. In 2021, after nearly three years of no activity on social media, Abuse allegations against Tay's father and his wife were shared on her Instagram shortly after Tay's father addressed those allegations as well as accusations of spending money that Tay had made. What is going on? How did... How did an even... How did an even more confusing story get even more confusing? People tell me to look at her story. What's on her story? Let me make this bigger so you can see this. Passport. Ooh, I like those nails. Okay, passport of the United States of America. I don't understand the... Um, wait, what's the context? Isn't she Canadian? Someone said she's leaving the country. I don't get it. She was in Canada before. Oh, so this is her not. What? This is the most confusing story we've ever covered. So that post is insinuating she's getting away from the father. Did she not have her passport before? Maybe I, okay. I do not know any of this. This is all alleged, but I just wanted to give you an update because everyone's talking about it. And it's like, what is going on? Also just want to remind you of our fundraiser link down below. I'm going to leave it here because I don't know what it's all so confusing. We'll leave it there.